Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about YouTube equipment, the equipment that I use for my YouTube channel, how I film my videos, what cameras I use, what lights I use, that type of thing. This video has been highly, highly, highly requested by you guys for a very long time. And the reason why it took me so long is because I know how important this type of information is and I don't wanna make any mistakes. I wanna make sure I give it to you straight and I wanna make sure that I give you everything that I possibly can to help your channel quality, I guess, to be on point. Because I'm still not, you know, I still haven't figured it all out. But for right now, I think I like my setup. I think it looks good. So hopefully I can offer some good information to you guys. So first and foremost, let's start off with my camera. We're gonna be talking about the cameras that I use. And I have three cameras currently. Um, the first camera that I used was the Canon T5 Rebel and that camera was actually purchased because I was using it for photography initially because I had an online boutique and I really wanted to take quality pictures but the following year I decided to start a YouTube channel and I thought hey why not use this camera because this camera is actually really really good for starting out especially because it just the quality was just perfect especially because it was a dslr now you have dslr cameras and you have mirrorless cameras dslr cameras are like the big chunkier looking cameras they don't use a mirror as i don't want to get too much into um detail because that's kind of like you know something i'm not qualified to talk about but I do know that the mirrorless cameras are the smaller ones that they do have they record without the mirror that the DSLR cameras have the DSLR cameras have way better quality than the mirrorless cameras if you're gonna be vlogging and you're gonna be making like those quick how-to videos where you kind of just want to point the camera and shoot and you don't really want to have to set anything up then you're definitely gonna want to go with a mirrorless camera the two mirrorless cameras that i have are the sony a5100 and the canon g7x i first purchased the um sony a5100 after using my t5 rebel for a couple years i decided to get that camera the sony a5100 everybody loves that camera mainly because that camera is really good for vlogging one and two it's good for beauty videos so if you're doing like beauty shots and you want to take pictures of your makeup and that type of thing that camera is amazing for that because it does have like a filter kind of thing going on where it like smooths your face i'm really not that fond of that feature that much unless it's for makeup because it does kind of make the quality look a little bit more like blurred out if that makes sense but then i ended up getting the g7x which is the most popular vlogging camera i would say that a lot of vloggers use i would if i had to choose between those two cameras i don't know which one i would choose because i use both of them for different reasons so the canon g7x is like the most convenient camera that i have all together if you want to start off with a vlogging camera definitely get the g7x the things i don't like about the a5100 the sony is that it does overheat so if you're gonna do like makeup tutorials and stuff definitely don't get that camera because it is just the worst for timing you're gonna have to like wait after 15 minutes for your um camera to cool off and i don't have time for that i don't like that i that's one of the reasons why I don't do like for the longest while I wasn't doing makeup tutorials because I have no patience. So if you're trying to do makeup tutorials, definitely do start off with a camera that you know is not going to overheat. I highly, highly recommend if you have the money, start off with a DSLR. The DSLR camera that I'm using right now is the Canon SL2. The Canon SL2 is literally just like the 80D, the one that all the big YouTubers use, but it's just a little bit more affordable and it literally has like the same quality, if that makes any sense. Um, it has a few differences, but it's not stuff that I care too much about. So that's why after I did my research, I ended up getting the Canon SL2. The thing that I love about this camera is I can put an audio jack inside of my camera, 
which is where we're gonna start talking about audio. The microphone that I'm currently using is the Power D Wise. It's literally like $20 on Amazon, and I'm gonna link everything in the description box. I do make a commission with anything purchased on Amazon. So anything that I buy for myself and I link down in the description box, you guys can purchase and I will make like a small commission on these items. But I do not work with these companies or anything like that, um, <clears throat> just so you guys know. So this microphone that I use has changed everything for me because remember for the longest while, if you've been watching my videos, I was struggling with being in this huge room and not having good audio because even if I got a microphone, I still picked up a lot of echo, but actually hooks on to my body, as you can see right here. And it picks up really, really good audio. I just point it towards my mouth. If you guys can see, like if I put it close to my mouth, you can hear me really clearly. But for the sake of not having it in sight for you guys to see i just kind of clip it down here so you don't have to see it and then you can still pick up really good audio and my camera does have settings on there where i can change the settings depending on what kind of room i'm in and since i need to pick up more audio because it's far away from me and because this room is so echoey i change my audio to like a higher frequency if that makes sense that is for my audio now for my lighting i am using a ring light in the middle um recently i decided to start putting my ring light above me instead of in front of me and i noticed that it makes a huge difference because my my living room is so big and for me to get good lighting it's very hard because um around my lights there's a lot of dark shadows that try to come through and ruins my little lighting situation so with me putting my my ring light above me it kind of blocks out all of that darkness and it does help and the ring light that i'm using is the newer ring light i have a pink one i got it like a couple years ago but i will link whatever i can find if it's the same ring light that i'm using i'm gonna link that one but it might not be pink because i don't think they sell the pink one anymore Whew, I'm out of breath. This is a lot. Also, for my lighting, I'm also using two panel lights that my best friend bought me for Christmas. One on one side, one on the other. The thing that I love about these two panel lights, they're really, really bright, but they also have a mixture. You can mix the, the yellow and the white together to kind of give you like that nice daylight effect because I don't really like all my lights to be just white. Cause I feel like it washes everything out a bit um but yeah that's pretty much that for the lighting situation I like to also keep another light on in the living room just to kind of combat with all of the dark shadows that I mentioned before so that helps me a lot and so for my memory cards I like to point out that it is super super important that you get 128 gigabytes of memory whenever you do buy a memory card you can literally get 128 gigs um on amazon for about 20 bucks you, you don't have to buy a lot of them you can buy one at a time but i have three 128 gigs and they really really make a difference in my editing and just everything in total because I used to buy like the 32 gigs and the 64 gigs and then let me tell you that is a waste of money especially if you're vlogging you don't want to use a small memory card because you have so much footage that you have to work with and you need all of it to fit on that memory card if you don't want to have to keep switching memory cards for different um, scenes in your like nobody wants to do that when you're editing so I'm gonna just tell you right now get a 128 and then continue to keep buying 128s as much as you can so that you have enough. I switch between cameras a lot, so I like to have a 128 in each of my cameras at all times. So whenever I pick up my camera, I don't have to worry about it not having the memory card in because the other one that I was using yesterday has the memory card. Like that is just, that just throws me off. And I hate when stuff like that happens to me because I'm just kind of like, like I get frustrated really easily. So I, I just wanna make sure that everything is ready at all times. As far as editing goes, I wanna make a, like I really wanna make a different video on editing, but if you guys do wanna know, I use iMovie on my laptop to um, edit with, 
and I also use InShot. So InShot is an app on my phone because sometimes I do edit on my phone. I think it's way more convenient to edit on my phone because sometimes I just don't feel like editing on my laptop. But editing on your phone is way, way quicker than editing on the computer. I feel like that's just me personally. I think it just is. And um, that app is really good because you can add music you can do everything that you can do on iMovie plus stuff that you can't do on iMovie like you can do overlays really quick you can put pictures on top of your video you can put text on top of your video you can change the font the thing that i hate the most about iMovie is you can't change the font really and like put the words where you want to put them it's just kind of annoying that it does that because iMovie has been out for so long and they still haven't changed that about it um, I don't use Final Cut Pro. I don't use um, that other, I forgot the name of the other one because I just, I just kind of, I'm not ready to kind of get into learning how to work those because I think iMovie works just fine and the apps that I do currently use on my phone and what else? what else what else i'm trying to think if i missed anything but when i'm editing i also want to make sure that i have extra storage so i purchased this one i believe this is 160 gig try to see if you can get something bigger than that but like this does the job for me i have two of these i have both of them plugged into my computer at the same time when i'm editing because sometimes i have footage on one and I have footage on another, so I kind of keep them separate. But this is so convenient. All you do is plug it in. And like, if you noticed your computer slows down when you try to upload a lot of footage to it, I, instead of uploading footage to my computer, I upload it to this. And I actually bought some Velcro and I attached it to it. That's why you see this here. And I just attach it to my laptop because for some reason, like when I would plug it into my laptop and I would like, carry my laptop around it would just kind of like be dangling and then sometimes it will fall out by itself because it's dangling and i don't want to get into a situation where this unplugs while the computer is on and then i lose all my footage because that can happen so i just kind of velcro this to the back of my laptop and i keep it plugged in at all times this is a lifesaver this changed my whole entire editing experience for the better definitely recommend it it's by the brand max one and i'll link this below i get everything on amazon there's nothing that you can't get on amazon okay there's nothing so yeah so i'm gonna make this my part one to this video and depending on how well this video does i'm gonna do a part two and I'm going to do some more like, more intricate things that I use for my channel that might help you guys out a lot that people don't talk about and people don't really say. That's pretty much that. I hope you guys, I hope this video helped somebody. I hope I didn't make it too brief. I hope I didn't like miss out anything serious that you guys want. But if you do have a question please 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 feel free to leave it in the comments i always respond to comments so just ask me whatever and i will let you know and i'll see you guys in my next video